afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got another nice fifth wheel we're going to review today. Today, we're going to look at a 2016 Keystone Avalanche. This is the model number 331RE. And guys, this belonged to a friend of mine up in Chattanooga. Traded this in on an Alpine the other day. It's been used very little. Uh, very nice condition. Uh, knowing the guy that had it, and this is third or fourth one, I'd I seriously have any doubts you're going to have any issues with this. Uh, this unit, like I said, is 38 and a half or 38 feet, seven inches long total length. It has a four seasons package. They call it the uh, R30. It's got R37 insulation. It is cold room tested to negative four degrees. So if you're looking for something to use year round or something for wintertime camping, this might be a great choice. It weighs 12,500 pounds. Pretty heavy because of all the extra insulation. It has four slides and uh, a, a neat looking fifth wheel, guys. Very, very well taken care of because I know the guy that had it. And, uh, you know, it's been here in the Chattanooga area, Chattanooga, Tennessee area. So looking around it, guys, beautiful uh, colors on it. Color scheme looks great. Decals look great. Does have the upgrade 12 gallon DSI gas electric water heater. It does have the six point level up system. It's got the washer and dryer, the four door fridge, the dual air package, and much more. Frameless windows. It also has a power awning with LED light strips. Aluminum frame, of course. Thermo shield. Good looking alloy wheels, nitrogen field tires. You can see the windows look great. I mean, this is a nice, I'm, I'm trying to squeeze through here. I haven't tried this yet. Oh yeah. Corners aren't beat up. 50 amp electrical service, which fortunately I'm close enough to be plugged into. So I've got both ACs going, refrigerator's cold. It's a nice unit, guys. You can see over here, you got three slide outs on this side. They all look great. No delamination. You know, this unit's never been smoked in or had pets in. It's a nice, uh, nice fifth wheel for 44.9. And that's actually what, you know, if you want to pull it up on NADA, I'm thousands under average retail. No added options, even though this thing's got several of them. Let's look inside. As we step inside, good floor plan. Especially for those of you who like a lot of space. This is definitely very open, very roomy, opposing slides. You do have the optional electric fireplace, which I do have on right now just for the effect with a, and it's got an auxiliary 5100 BTU electric heater, which will heat this whole back area pretty, pretty comfortably. So you don't have to use your furnace unless it gets really cold. You got a leather sleeper sofa, no flaking furniture in this one, guys. Um, it, the furniture was replaced a couple years ago um, through Rec Pro at my recommendation. They had the typical Keystone flaking furniture. So you got that, that's a new sofa and new chairs. Well, not new, but they're two years old. They're newer than the rest of the RV and they match perfect. You do have table and chairs does have a TV on a televator. It's in there, guys. Just the battery is dead on the remote control. So uh, I throw a couple of AAAs in it. Should be fine. It's got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air, and it's got an auxiliary 13,500 BTU that's also ducted in the front bedroom. And both of them are ice cold right now. All the lights work. Well, I take that back. Um... The bulbs um, are burnt out on the 110 bulbs right there, so gotta put you a couple bulbs in there, no big deal. Uh, beautiful kitchen area, I love this kitchen. It's got the Corian countertops, solid surface countertops. 
high point microwave, three burner stove top, refrigerators, very clean, start, it's already cold. You've got a four door freezer, refrigerator freezer on top. Kitchen area, very nice and roomy back here. And I like this style kitchen because, hey, of course I do a lot of cooking guys in the RV. So a kitchen's pretty important to me. It may not be for everybody. I know not everybody cooks in the RV, I get it. Well, I mean, I love cooking outside too. Or just, you know, doing the uh, Uber Eats or whatever, but uh, probably any of the other various meal delivery services they have, but it's still nice having a nice kitchen when you're in here in this kitchen, the way it's designed, nobody's got a reason to be in here unless they uh, need to get something out of the kitchen directly. So the cook's got their own domain. You don't have to worry about everybody bumping into you like a lot of floor plans have when they have the kitchen kind of right in the main walkway. And you get some extra storage. Carpets look great. I do like the residential size doors going into the bedroom and the bathroom. And here, of course, all your control panels, light controls, fan controls, um, slide out controls, all that good stuff. Water heater, 12 gallon DSI gas electric, monitor panel, all that in here. And your awning control too for your power awning. We're gonna step up, we're gonna go to the left and look at the bathroom first. And you can actually get to the bathroom from the bedroom. And this thing has got a huge stand-up shower. It's a five-foot wide shower. This is pretty much, I mean, this is the size of the shower in my bathroom at home. It's a big old shower. Um, skylight, of course, you don't really need it unless you're about six foot six or six foot seven. Um, but, I mean, you still got a nice skylight. Everything in here looks great. Stickers look great. RV toilet right here, good spot. And um, there's your vanity area, medicine cabinet. Looking here, you've got a front bedroom. The only thing kind of weird about it is they put, I'm probably going to take. I mean, I'll leave it on there, but if you, you know, if you don't want that mattress, let us know. They've stacked up two mattresses on top of each other, which is comfy, but it's awful tall. Um, or if you just want to put your own king size mattress in here, it's up to you. Or I can get you a king size mattress for, you know, a fairly affordable price. Just let us know. We'll uh, measure it and get you a quote on it and see if you want to buy it or not. I got a, a local mattress store here in Chattanooga that can make you a, a a good mattress you know depending on what you want to spend of course but a lot cheaper than ordering an rv mattress through a catalog or online or something like that got the optional 32 inch tv up here you do have the optional washer and dryer combo which has been used very very little and that is a washer and dryer together closet across the front uh, got your second AC in here. And actually, I think this one's actually got two furnaces too, if I'm not mistaken. Got a little chest, chest, uh, there's some drawers right here at the foot of the bed. You know, these to that, the, the uh, avalanche is not as high up as like the Montana, so it's a little bit lower profile. It's like a mid profile but I can stand up all the way up to the front. So, and I'm six foot four, you know, I, maybe at the very, very front right there, if I got my, like my body right up next to that door, which you wouldn't usually get that close anyway, I may have to stoop down a little bit. But other than that, guys, I mean, clear sailing, nothing to hit your head on, um, unless you're taller than me. They're a nice unit, really is. Uh, 44.9. You know, at 44.9, of course, like I said, I know the guy had it, and you're welcome to hire an inspector to look at it if you want to, uh, if you don't believe me, because I think it'll pass any inspection with flying colors. But 
We do guarantee the slide outs to work. We guarantee both roof air conditioners to work. We guarantee water systems, which includes water heater, water pump, and any kind of plumbing leaks. We check that, fix any of those if there's any. And we also guarantee the uh, refrigerator and freezer for 44 9 Everything else, of course, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's priced the way it is. The way it's priced, that's all we guarantee to fix if it doesn't work or which I pretty much checked everything on. I know the slides work. I, we put them out. I got both ACs blowing icicles, so I know they work. And I know the refrigerator and freezer is getting cold. So I've done everything but the water and the water heater and water pump. So, and if there's something wrong with one of those, we'll fix it. Now, everything else, of course, is, as most of y'all know, is sold as is. It works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, it's we're not going to fix it if it doesn't work besides those main systems. It's like, uh, like I always say, we cover the major stuff that costs you the most money. We leave the Mickey Mouse stuff to you because used RVs are used RVs. Any RV you buy, you're going to work on. It doesn't matter if it's new or used or what. That's just the nature of, of owning one. And if somebody, if you think any different, you're you're greatly mistaken. Um, these are like boats. They're, they can be, a, a, there's going to be maintenance and repairs from time to time. That's just part of owning one. Doesn't matter if it's a 16, a 06, or a 2022 model. You'll have to work on it. Um, that's part of it. In fact, you know, the first year you buy a brand new one of these, first year you own it, it's going to go back to the dealership two or three times just to fix factory defects. At least this one, a 16 model, it's all that stuff's mostly is worked out now. And I say I know the guy that had it. It's in good shape. I'm not really worried about it. this. Is one I would wouldn't hesitate to sell anybody, even family members. I mean, or myself if I was needing one like this. But if you're interested in this avalanche, give us a call, guys. It's 706-965-7929. If you need delivery service, in other words, if you're going to set this thing up on a on a monthly campsite or a permanent campsite or some property, and you're not planning on moving it, just give us a call, guys. We can deliver nationwide a dollar fifty a loaded mile one way. We do not we don't even charge for the return trip. Dollar fifty a mile. So you know if you're worried about oh I want a fifth wheel I'm going to use it for some property for a weekend house or use it to live in or put some in-laws in or some kids in or whatever you ain't got to worry about going out spending 40 50 grand on a pickup truck and then spending a couple of grand getting a hitch put in uh, we can deliver for a dollar fifty a mile so you know we give you that option and this would be a great living unit it hasn't been used as a live-in but it could be if you wanted to because of that r37 insulation and that negative four degree temperature check so you're good in other words the temperature in here stayed around 68 to 70 degrees in a controlled four my negative four degree environment with just the factory heating systems and that include in the underbelly stayed above 50 because it does have heated and closed underbelly of course you got to use your furnace operate that so you know i know a lot of people are scared of their furnace when they're full time because they don't want to buy propane but if you want to keep your lines from freezing, you got to use that propane furnace when it gets below freezing uh, in the underbelly. There's no way around it. Yeah, the uh, you can use an electric heater up here and keep you comfortable, but it's not going to keep your underbelly from freezing. So remember, hot air always rises. But anyway, guys, this unit's 44.9 plus applicable sales tax. No other fees. We don't charge dock fees, prep fees. We don't charge processing fees. We don't charge happy camper fees, none of that stuff, guys. Forty-four nine plus applicable sales tax, and if you want it delivered, it's a dollar fifty a mile, one way. That's easy and simple and done as I can make it, guys. Uh, as far as buying and selling an RV, and we need inventory too, so we are always buying. If you've got an RV for sale, give us a call. We just ask you that it's got a good clear title. Uh, even if you have a payoff, get your current fourteen-day payoff. Give us a call. We'll uh, we'll see if we can still work out a deal. Uh, 706-965-7929 and uh, if you or if you want to buy this one give us a call at that same number 706-965-7929 and uh, be glad to help you guys and we, we're no distance is too far if the deals are right for both if we can make a, a agreement on the numbers we'll come pick it up
but thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it guys appreciate my 33,000 subscribers uh or it's about to turn probably turn 33,000 today or tomorrow i'm only i'm only like four subscribers short so hit that subscribe button smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video uh visit my website parkwayrvcenter.com see my current inventory of used fifth wheels if you see one you like give us a call i've got a few more that's coming in i will be filming putting online in the next few days i'll probably do a motorhome next uh just to break it up a little bit but uh but this is a nice unit guys 44.9 i don't think you can really go wrong it's under book and it's in very nice condition which that's probably more important than the money of course money is always a, the price is always a deciding factor but condition is too because you know a lot of people buy these to live in and trust me if you bought a 16 model that had been lived in for six years there's not much left of it <laughs> so uh in fact this has just been used recreationally and it does just has very very little use thanks for watching guys appreciate it and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold george I also forgot to mention financing is available with approved credit and down payment with no dealer interest rate markup you pay whatever the bank approves you for we don't mark the interest rate up like other dealers do that can save you thousands of dollars over the life of an rv loan and higher payments alone thanks again for watching look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringo georgia